one question that keeps cropping up, and it's a sensible one when you think about it, is should you test your tyre pressures when the tyres are cold or when they're hot? Obviously, there's quite a big temperature difference between a tyre that's been used on, say, the motorways, freeways and highways, and one that's just been on a car that's sitting on a drive in the middle of winter. We all know that manufacturers have set pressure recommendations for tyres on cars, but are they cold pressures or are they warm pressures? In this video, we're just going to discuss why there is a difference, how much of a difference in pressure there is based on temperature of the car, and whether you should check your tyre pressures when they're cold or when they're warm. So should you check your tyre pressures when they're cold or when they're hot? Well, it's an interesting debate and I've heard people make arguments for and against, but generally speaking, you check your tyre pressures when it's cold, when the car has not been running for long periods of time. Manufacturers have set the pressures in their recommendations, which is usually located on the little sticker somewhere around the car, for cold pressures. When you first get the tyre fitted, it's cold. That's the pressure that it's inflated to. So how much variation is there in tyre pressure according to temperature? Well, in the UK, we use Celsius. I know some other countries use this really weird temperature, Fahrenheit. But generally speaking, a 10 degree Celsius drop will knock one PSI off the pressure and a 10 degree increase will add one PSI in pressure. So obviously, there's going to be a fairly big variation between summer and winter. Do you only check your tyre pressures every six months? Because if you do, you're probably going to be seriously down in winter or may even be overinflated in the summer. Going up to the, the maximum, there is still leeway set by the manufacturer for when the tyre warms up. That really is the optimum. When you drive the car cold, you still want the maximum amount of grip from the tyre. And that's going to be hampered if it is under or over inflated. So use the manufacturer's recommendations as a guide. Check the tyre pressures when they're cold. If you've been driving the car, assume that the tyre pressures are going to be higher than the cold reading. And if the manufacturer states you should inflate to 31 PSI and you've been driving the car, maybe knock two or three PSI off that when you do the tyre inflation and then check it again at home when the tyre is cold. And checking tyres is something we should do fairly regularly. It should really be a weekly check. Don't rely on the tyre pressure monitor inside your car. They tend to react very, very slowly to fairly serious drops in pressure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please boot the like button. Please subscribe to the channel as well. That really does help us to get out there. And I've lined this video and this playlist up for you that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.